Hello guys, welcome back to part number two for auto train embarkment. It's keep here and wish you a welcome uh, and warm warm welcome uh, to episode number 12. So let's uh, finish what we started last week, one week ago, Tuesday it was. Uh, this build was really, really nice for me. It was one time only, I mean I've never done this before, I've never seen this before as I mentioned last week too. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot see your uh, <laughs> comments or, or in feedback from the last video because I'm recording. I recorded both videos at the same time. I mean, uh, yeah, at the same time. Um, I'm in Amsterdam, somewhere in Amsterdam right now. God knows what I'm doing, and uh, hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this uh, second build, second part of the build. Uh, I'm adding some. <clears throat> Uh, some lines, some uh, decals, uh, decals, and uh, now I'm adding some crossing decals here. So you know, people can walk on the red area. Uh, red, it's not that uh, red area there, but I added that uh, reddish uh, decal uh, area, and also uh, on the crossings here, so they can go from a place to another without problems. Uh, let's say the cars can. Uh, uh give them give them way you know for the pedestrians and whatnot i will add uh, also bollards and um, everything else to make the areas a bit more safer uh, the fps it's going crazier and it's not good i sure do hope i will be able to reach tw uh, 20 episodes in little france Maybe the FPS is a bit better in other corners of the city here. Uh, here is me adding some... Uh, I want to add some uh, metal little gate... not gates. Yeah, barriers. Let's call them barriers, yeah. I, I'm adding all of them open on only one it's being closed. Uh, <laughs> it's for the looks, let's say. Uh, and also, uh, there is like one, two, three, four, uh, I think there are five uh, ways to go inside and only one that allows you to get out from there in case of God knows what happens. Uh, also, I'm adding some signs there <clears throat> before I added those ones with open and then I was like not satisfied and I said let's let me remove those and add those signs like one way or mandatory to go in front. Um, in uh, order to make it look a bit more realistic and better I really I'm honestly really need to start adding a bit more signs in the city uh, it's beautiful to see to have lots of signs but it's also so damn hard to add some of them especially those that you have to rename uh, or to give names to boulevards areas and whatnot that those are even a bit harder to do but yeah, I, I intend to do a bit more in the future to add some uh, some more um, <laughs> signs in the city. I'm also adding some graffiti here and there because, you know, graffiti is everywhere. Too bad that uh, most of the times are those kind of stupid graffiti with only someone writing something, not even drawing or God knows what. It's, it's bad. Uh, adding some uh, new metal poles or metal bollards, how do you want to call them? Uh, which uh, actually you'll see in the cinematics uh, that the cars are, like, are not perfectly matched with the drawings here. They're just a tiny little bit to the left side, I guess, because one of the cars will go and take all those poles, metal poles. It was too late for me to try to finish and adding or to redo this area here to try to replop the roads and whatnot it, it was too 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 late to me for me to do so and you know what well it is a car or two who are scratching their uh <laughs> their sides on those bollards and not only uh but uh it, it's okay it's okay they will survive i guess um i was thinking even what shall i add there in uh, Paris there is nothing there, but I, I, I wanted to add something, uh, a green area there between the bollards and I managed to do so. Uh, I've already subscribed to the, uh, 
to these uh, leaves because uh, I had those two from the beginning and when I created the collection properly for you guys for to download it from Patreon I totally totally forgot to add those and uh, well I lost all the leaves plopped down in the city uh, here is a message with the entire Patreon team for those who are helping my channel uh, and supporting my channel via Patreon thank you so much guys your names are appearing there for those uh, who do this unless you did it in the past week uh, and I couldn't do this because the video is pre-recorded uh, at a point I think we will get I already have 21 uh, Patreon patrons there so super then thank you guys you are awesome you are awesome and we are getting very close to reach the second video the second uh, not challenge video but let's call it um, goal video uh, with me doing 100 push-ups uh, I will try to make make a very funny video well a funny video for that uh, a vlog funny video with me doing 100 push-ups uh, which will be very <laughs> interesting uh, but it will be posted only on Patreon uh, as soon as we reach the goal. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, it will be uh, interesting, right? Someone mentioned <laughs> on the last goal, hey, if you are going to make and eat pizza, I don't know how you are be how you will be able <laughs> to do 100 push-ups. Anyways, um, so I did some parking areas too. These ones are not uh, working uh, parking uh, areas. Uh, uh, just for the looks, these are props cars, not real cars. So mm, you'll not go. You're not going to see people parking here, but all other parking areas that you see all around this area I, that I did uh, are park working parking areas actually. So cars can park there for real. I even uh, popped, uh, as you can see, that white. Uh, not sure what car is it Ford, I think. I don't know. Uh, that white car there from above, <laughs> that one uh, I parked it a little bit nastier, you know, because there are nasty people parking uh, like crap uh, all over the world. In no matter what, you know, from where you are, there is only one that person who forgot how to park, you know, especially if it's BMW. Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyways. Um, this area it's getting better better and better and better and uh, taking life a bit more uh, which is really good uh, here in Paris if I'm not mistaken it was a bus station there was another bus little station uh, in the parking area there I didn't want to do it so well I had to improvise and uh, leave it just as a parking area uh, okay, so it's time for me to show you uh, the moment when I had to upgrade all those uh, train uh, tracks into bridges. So can because all these are going over the road, that huge road <laughs> there. Uh, if you're going to ask me what? Well, it is like that. Also in Paris, there is something exactly like that. I don't want to say it's a long tunnel because it's not completely um, covered up, but it is a road going through all these um, train tracks. I showed some stuff uh, last time on Google, uh, on Google Earth, yes, in the last vi in the previous video. So for those who are interested, you guys must see uh, the previous video as well. I think I should I should have started <laughs> this. Uh, uh, episode by saying that hey this is the part number two for uh, for this build so guys if you're wondering what am I building how am I what am I what am I whole it's well it's simple you guys have to watch first the previous episode and continue with this one then it will make more sense uh, it's a bit too late I know saying this but yeah it, well it is uh, anyways so I have, I have uh, upgraded all those train tracks into bridges and then uh, added those retaining walls and I covered all the ugly parts with some uh, surfaces, with gravel surfaces, which is uh, super uh, fine. They will uh, look very, very good. 
Uh, I'm not totally sure if he's going, uh, if I'm going to show it again in another time lapse or something, but definitely you are going to see quite a lot in the uh, final cinematic. Uh, here we are in front of the train station. Uh, I want to finish this area too with the parking area. As I said, these are perfectly working um, uh, ar parking areas. Uh, I'm adding again these uh, reddish cobblestone for people where they can walk, you know, they park the car and then they can cross the street and uh, be in a safer area here on the red uh, cobblestone. Uh, I'm going to add uh, crossings and whatnot, a kiosk uh, or two to make the entire area a bit more, let's say, realistic, a bit more full of stuff, life and whatnot. Um, adding some uh, street signs, street uh, advertising signs, some uh, books, uh, planters, uh, these ones, whatever I had into my mind, you know, in order to make it look good. After many. Uh, then I have to, and I added some invisible pathways. Now it's the is the visible pathway, but this will be turned into an invisible pathway because if you can see now on the streets, no one is actually coming, walking, and whatnot. Everyone is... On, there are only cars going round and round and round again. Hey, from this moment, by adding these invisible pathways uh, and adding some benches and stuff where can make people want to come here, um, it will uh, totally turn this area into a one full of life. Even these stairs, I build them, but I forgot to press the recording button. I thought I'm recording. I don't know why. So I, you, you didn't see when I built these stairs, uh, but because I've also added the invisible uh, pathways on the stairs, people will actually take those stairs and go up here. There is a huge, this uh, tall building there too, uh, which uh, serves like, like something, like a building for something, not totally sure for what. Uh, you can imagine anything about that, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a building. Uh, and the... Um, now for making this parking area a bit more beautiful and more realistic, I'm adding these uh, stain decals here uh, to make it not be that clean because the perfect asphalt, the clean asphalt, it's, it's nice but it's not that nice. I mean it doesn't make lo uh, things look that realistic, uh, at least that how I hope so. Uh, many of you uh, sewing my pictures on Instagram asked me what theme am I using for this? Well, uh, as you can see, there is no theme for asphalt or something. It's just me adding extra custom uh, deco decals and whatnot in order to make it look like this. It's a lot of work, but it pays the entire um, the entire thing. But the the sad part is that it, it really does affect the FPS. It's unbearable right now in this area. The FPS is around 5-ish or even lower. Uh, if I play, of course, at 300% uh, dynamic resolution. Now, otherwise, it's okay -ish. I had to lower it. By the way, yes, I have to tell you again. I lowered the resolution to 200 from 300, uh, which makes this possible. Otherwise, uh. So the quality of the video, it will be a little lower than usual. You guys are uh, used to from all episodes before 10. So, from the first 10 episodes and other videos as well. Uh, even in Art of... What? Now I realize, even in Art of the FPS is better. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it is better in Art of the FPS. is okay. I can play at 300%. Uh, uh, not for too long. I think very soon I have to change back to 102. But it's okay. It's okay. To 100, I said? No, to 200. Uh, I'm adding some parking areas between these uh, buildings. These are like residential buildings. Um, uh, on this side of the river, on this side of the train station, I saw also in Paris there are not too many um, old and his historical buildings. They are more modern one. Uh, so I, I'm trying to do so as well. There are some office buildings and whatnot. There is even a, a covered stadium or a poly yeah, a cover stadium, let's say, uh, and few other buildings. 
So I can't really, I have to say it uh, now that I know th uh, that I will be leaving because it's Sunday and I'm going to Amsterdam. Uh, it's like one week and a few days before you see this video. I'm already missing the uh, playing City Skylines. Uh, usually when I'm home and recording, it's like, oh, okay. But you know that moment when you are not home? That's the moment when you really, really miss <laughs> playing a game. Uh, okay. So I added here some more modern buildings. These are more bi modern buildings. There are some some of them like that in uh, Paris. I don't know what they are. Uh, what's the purpose for them? But let's imagine there are some office buildings and something, something, something. Um, so I went for something like that too. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I was telling you earlier, this is uh, the surfaces that I'm uh, covering uh, up all these ugliness and the retaining wall. Uh, it's the perfect way to cover up ugly stuff, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and uh, also finishing this area with the train station. I have uh, did some upgrades there in the train station. I have the no touch uh, or no, it's touch this mud. And uh, I've upgraded the train tracks too with those one with the ones that I'm currently using because uh, inside the train station there was the vanilla ones. I'm not satisfied with the thing, and that thing is that some of the train tracks are sunken in the in the ground there. I'm not sure what that why is that happened. Anyways, um, oh, uh, I kind of totally like the way this road turned eventually between these tall tall buildings it's pretty interesting uh, I managed to add some fences benches uh, some trees though new trees made by mr. Mason and few little uh, advertising uh, signs and whatnot it's it's nice it's nice and uh, very 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 so Soon, maybe in like two or three more episodes from this moment I might not totally sure but I might be able to do the first um, ride video in little France maybe we will go for episode number 15 maybe it will be a bus ride I don't know what to say about the tram ride because I don't have that many tram lines right now. We shall see what we will build in the future because uh, that would be the only and the most important uh, uh, moment uh, which will uh, give me, let's say, the uh, exact uh, and correct answer to what type of ride we shall do uh, in uh, Little France here. Uh, of course, I cannot. Uh, I cannot. I cannot not do this intersection with few little the details here and there uh, because it would be sad in this case. Uh, so I'm adding some fences, crossings as, as well, uh, some uh, some more sunken ploppable asphalt decals um, and some bollards as well to make it look close to something very good. Uh, okay, uh, we are. Uh, well, I want to say we are getting close to the end of this video, but we still have quite a lot. Um, so we need to. F I want to finish this area too. That's why this entire project was split in two, uh, and in two videos. I mean, because I didn't want to do only the embankment uh, station there. I needed something more to cover or to have surrounding this station because otherwise you, the cinematics would, would have sucked big time plus I would have done this uh, after that in the next episode I, I also would have done this entire build here so it's the same that's why I split it into um, episodes plus uh, when I jump from a thing to another uh, you guys might not get bored Usually I do, so that's what I try to avoid. Uh, I'm doing some little tricks here. I plopped down some uh, buildings and then I added a few more above them uh, at, on the higher level with the procedural objects. They are not working, the ones from, uh, from above. But I had to do so because um, 
I, this way I made these uh, buildings look a little bit taller, you know? I wish I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a bowler, well, whatever. Uh, so, it's okay for me, for me I'm satisfied, for sure I am uh, satisfied. If I would have uh, left the entire time-lapse area, moment, not area, uh, the entire time-lapse build and all the little details I've done, I think not even four episodes of 30 minutes would have been enough, and I'm not kidding, I swear. Uh, I barely managed to do two episodes of almost 30 minutes each, and uh, I cut a lot, plus I didn't record a lot, so four episodes maybe would have been the perfect answer for this uh, but uh, yeah it would have been really too much to have four episodes with one little well one big project you know um, okay uh, I'm adding a few more stairs I, I noticed there are a few more stairs here in this area uh, so people can go from here this is the moment when actually people are going to use these entire areas uh, you will see quite a lot of pedestrians now uh, walking down the streets with their Nike zone uh, <laughs> through all these places. Right after this, I'm going to add some invisible pathways, and bam, that's the moment when people are going nuts uh, in the in this area, in the parking area. You will see quite a lot of people, uh, which is really cool. Actually, it is really really cool. Uh, they are really really well hidden all those invisible pathways what else can i tell you about this build something important i don't think i missed anything uh on this uh details are are on point i guess uh i'm um, i'm adding a few stuff even these curves sometimes even if i after i finish a project i feel like i didn't do enough of detailing which will be quite crazy because I'm adding quite a lot of details there but yeah I don't know it's I still have that moment in my in my brain there saying man too much is too much think of FPS think you have to do more episodes and whatnot it's really hard so this is the moment when people actually on the streets uh, I posted the picture a long time ago on the streets are going like to offices or everyone it's dressed like in suits and they look like they go to work or to an interview <laughs> look at them they are <laughs> they're walking in a indian row that how i like to say it you know how the apaches were walking you know one in uh, behind uh, another one or one in front of uh, each other uh, really funny uh these new new trees made by mr mason the oak trees are really beautiful and uh, they fit pretty good on uh, on the roadsides uh, totally totally digging them uh, up uh, and uh, I think we are getting close to the end of this video too well not that close we still have a lot uh, let me check okay oh five more minutes so oh, damn uh, so this episode I think it will be a bit more after 30 minutes uh, this is the moment when I'm adding a um, few cars, uh, like waiting there in line in order to get on the train. Uh, as I mentioned last week, I'm going to, in the previous episode, I'm going to make a cinematic video with the cars actually going on those empty trailers. Because I have an idea. And for, for now, I hope you guys manage to find uh, an idea too, to leave it in the, in the comment section uh, in the previous episode, maybe even now you can leave it uh, if you have any ideas on how to make that, of course with invisible roads, that would be normal, but there have to be some tricks why the cars should drive on those invisible roads, how can I make the cars even stop there or something, it would be really cool and in interesting to see. And because I felt this area it's not totally done, I had to add few more buildings at the end of this um, parking area. And I was thinking what should I add there? Maybe a few more offices or something. So I'm adding some like administrative buildings or something like this. 
there are actually some shops. Uh, these ones that I'm using here, made by Back to Baroque, I guess. So let's call them, uh, let's imagine those are administrative buildings in order to help me out with uh, polishing a little bit more this area from, from here. Uh, okay, so this video is getting very close to the end of it. Uh, you guys are going to watch, you should watch the cinematics at the end of the cinematic, of this uh, time lapse, sorry, of the video. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, now that you saw the entire project, both episodes, tell me what you actually think about this, how interesting it is, You are you going to use it, uh, build it? Uh, in the next episode number 13, I'm going to release it, uh, I'm going to release the save game 2 on my Patreon account only, not on Workshop Steam. Uh, so, um, for those who want to try it out, to check out, to see how it looks, uh, you can download it from Patreon if you are a patron there for, uh, for, for my server. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for your entire support for my channel. Um, leave a like. Subscribe if you are new here, if you want to see more, and I guess th this is it guys. Thank you so much. See you next time. I salute you.